Hi guys, VST here at FPS Tech. Welcome back on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be presenting to you the top five Android applications for January 2021. And without any further ado, guys, I'm going to start with the first one. It's here the Hyper Scientific Calculator. And as you can already see on the screen, you can really do a lot of things. Scientific functions, equations, graphing, integrals, and derivatives, complex numbers, symbolic algebra, calculation details, and many more. And guys, let's face it, the default app that you have on your Android phone isn't really equipped with a lot of power. So calculating advanced mathematical equations and expressions, yeah, you can forget about that one. That's why you can use the high percentage calculator. It really comes into play with support to 100 digits of significance and 10 digits of exponent values. Do you know how much is it? It's really a lot. And just look at the design, right? This calculator can do functions from basic arithmetic operations uh, to fractions. You can also do mixed numbers. You can also operate a priority, derivatives, repeated operations. And it's just the tip of the iceberg that this thing can do. It can also support nested fractions, integral, symbolic computation and works on both portraits. Um, yeah, you guess it right. Also, landscape orientation. Up number two is actually the DISA, D-I-S-A. DISA or this is a hub plug in the chat services that you want to use this application offers you a unified interface allowing you to chat on multiple apps using only one single app in this case the DISA so in fact the DISA application eliminates the need for you to have multiple messaging applications when DISA offers you all in one messaging hub for all your needs and of course it's free it also has the dark mode feature. It can merge chats from different apps unified by context. It can allow interaction with groups and really a lot more. So let's just go and check it out, guys. I have now authorized my Telegram account and just make sure that you read this very carefully. I happen to have Telegram and also DISA, which pretty much means that I'll get dual or duplicate notifications. So if I just want to stick to DISA, I need to make sure that I've disabled the notification from Telegram, all right? You see here, I'm already getting notifications from DISA. If you want to add another service, guys, you need to click here on the cockwheel and then you need to click here at the services. So add service, then you're presented only with Facebook and Telegram. Apparently right now there is nothing more to that, but if you install these applications here on the phone, they'll pop up if relevant plugins are found out, you see? App number three is gonna be the Instasize, launching it directly here with you. So when it comes down to photo and to video editing on your Android smartphone, guys, you pretty much know that there are not really a lot of helpful tools. In some Android implementations like the One UI 3 or the MIUI from Xiaomi, there are a bit more options to stock editors, but simply not all options are present. So you end up with going to get some third-party software, like pretty much this it. So the Instasize application gives you an excellent array of editing tools, right from filters to borders and pretty much more. You can make your photos and videos, Instagram or any other social media ready in just in a moment. So we can just choose the right template for TikTok or let's say if you're shooting an Instagram video or any other app. So we can choose the right template for your TikTok or Instagram video. And you know, it's absolutely free, but if you want to get a bit more to it, then of course you can subscribe. And there are more than like 130 premium filters, acne remover, whitener, right? But yeah. Just the free one is good enough. Editing is simple enough. You just load your picture and that's, by the way, a real picture of my cat. You have here different filters like Coast, Tiki, Hulk, Tokyo, Bar, Vintage 89, Hyro. From here you can go and you can apparently tweak the exposure. So let's just limit the exposure a bit, right? You can go back, you can go for the contrast. Let's up the contrast a bit. Then you have the brightness and then you have the sharpness. You have pretty much more. We have the saturation so you can make it black and white or you can pop up the color if you want, right? Of course, you can also reduce or enhance the tint, the warmth, the vignette, the shadows, the highlights, the grain. Last but not least, from here we can apply some geometric edits like rotate the picture, vertical, horizontal, and you see this nice animation when you do it. Again, I do recommend this. If you want to quickly edit your videos or your photos, then the Insta size is a very good and free way to do so. The next application I want to review with you guys is the Resilio sync if you're a person not really fond of cloud services don't use the mega don't use the google cloud don't use the microsoft azure or amazon aws you can check out the resilience scene because this lets you create your own private cloud that you can use to file devices between your nas your pc your mac 
all your servers. There is no storage limit and of course it's your system and this app automatically encrypts the files during the transfers to ensure that your files are safe from hijacking or somebody intercepting your data. So you pretty much get some nice protection here and you can also access your files across any devices remotely with the residual sync. Furthermore, it does support PDFs, videos, photos, docs. It's pretty much a nice tool to have. So let's say you wanna send a file to go here from the plus sign, you go from send files, then you go to your downloads and let's say I'm choosing this, let's say it's musical track, then of course you can copy the link and just send it to anybody. And I'm just gonna show you guys what happens when you get the link. So you're gonna get the link, when you open the link and you can open this with this application, you see this is the exact file name, the link will expire in three days and this is where it's gonna be really stored. Again, it's really a nice way for cross device communication. So what you need to know about the Resilious thing is that it is a proprietary peer-to-peer -peer file synchronization tool and it's available not only for your Android, but you can also use it on iOS, on Windows Phone. You can also use it on Linux, on Mac on Windows, and even BSD and Kindle Fire, right? So if you wanna get rid of the class and just do a peer-to-peer -peer sync, this is the tool to go. Last but not least, guys, app number five, it's called Vlogit. So if you are a vlogger, then this Vlogit is a powerful video editing tool for YouTubers. And again, it is available at absolutely no cost for you. What does this mean, guys? Sometimes things are for free, but then you get these nasty watermarks. Not in this case. There is no watermark, even on the trial versions. So you can use the trial version and there will be no watermark. Then you can decide if you really like it or not. You can make very nice videos. You can add sound effects and also music to your vlogs. The app has also a feature to export 1080p. There is no time limit and no watermarks. You can customize and animate openers. Of course, also add stickers and much more. Just gonna shoot something right now, just as a test. Okay, let's shoot this little buddy. So let's say this buddy is performing his first vlog, blah, blah, blah. Okay, my first vlog for today, boom. And now the editing part comes, guys. You see, you can go and you can add your custom text. You can also choose the style, you see? Absolutely for free, you can choose the frame. For here, you can choose the color, you can choose the font and also the style of the font, all right? When you go back, you can go to the stickers. Like I told you, you can add some very fancy stickers here. Then you can add audio, right? You can add your music, you can even add effects. And there are some effects already pre-recorded, like a beat, for example. Let's play it right now with a beat. So let's say this body performing here. <laughs> okay, then you can also do some nice voiceovers, you can do some nice transitions, reverse it, you can also speed it up and apply some filters on your video, you see, like this scary one or glitchy one, let's go for the glitchy one. Huh? It's a nice video editing tool and I do recommend this and guys, this really will have been my top five Android apps for January 2021. If you like videos like this, guys, you might want to subscribe for my channel and with that said, please stay safe and we're gonna be meeting each other again in my next video. VST over and bye.